All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of coring. We got uh, our coring bits, DeWalt drill. Uh, we're gonna core a few areas. There's three parallel veins here, and what we wanna do is we wanna see the thickness of them. You have one going down that way, another one going down that way, and then a third going this way, and then this whole area here has uh, disseminated mineralization mainly chalcopyrite with uh, pyrite and there's a little bit of galena and uh, sphalerite so uh, let's do some coring okay so what we have here is you got uh, your vein of mineralization right there. Uh, this is a schistose rock and uh, there's some quartz feldspar in there and uh, there's your your vein there continues all the way down there so uh, right now we're at about uh, four four to ten centimeters th thickness in uh, different areas so we want to see how thick it is back here and uh, we're gonna send one of those samples in for analysis we basically want to see if we can get um, a decent tonnage out of this we have removed about eight tons off of this outcrop and uh, it just assayed decent for gold silver copper uh, there's some zinc tungsten a bit of lead in there as well so uh, we'll see what we can get This is going to take a while, so be patient. So this is a uh, wet dry bit, so it works uh, if it's wet or dry. Um, works pretty well on full speed. Don't know how long my drill is going to last. Uh, battery is pretty good. I haven't charged this to battery in about uh, two months and I use it every day so hopefully it lasts for a while we got a second battery and uh, we couldn't bring a generator or anything so uh, Hilti wouldn't work and this is our best option
Okay, so this is a uh, 14 inch bit, uh, one and a half inches. Definitely could go with a smaller one. Um, it would core a lot uh, quicker. We do have a smaller one, but we decided to try this one first, see how it did. Uh, we're about, I'd say six inches in. I think we're gonna be through the vein. Um, so we'll pull it out in a little bit and uh, we'll see what we got in there. Okay, so our core broke off in there. Uh, this is what we got out of it so far. So you have the host rock here. It's got uh, some disseminated mineralization in there. Then you got this. So this is pretty much a solid mineral vein. And uh, a lot of it powdered off, but uh, this is what we got. We know that there's at least about 10 centimeters of the vein. The rest broke off in there and we're probably not gonna be able to get it out, but we know there's at least 10 centimeters. So we're probably gonna come and remove a bunch of this because that's more than we actually thought. And uh, we'll uh, think about sending some into a refinery. There is good gold here, silver, copper, lead, some zinc, a bit of tungsten. So uh, we got about uh, 100 to 130 grams per ton of gold um, on this outcrop. And each vein is different. One's higher in gold, one's higher in silver, and the other is in copper. So... Uh, we'll uh, remove some of this at a later date and uh, see what we get out of it. So that's all we're going to do for coring today. We are going to take a couple other samples here. We did do uh, another hole over here and uh, took out some there. But uh, yeah, it's time consuming so we're going to just uh, take a couple samples for assays and send those in and we'll, uh, we'll see what we get out of those as well. So just to give you an idea of uh, the vein is pretty much solid mineral. You can see all that mineralization in there. So we're gonna see if we can get a five kilogram sample. Okay, so I know we've uh, said that we've worked three veins here and remo removed material. This is the uh, the fourth vein. We haven't really done anything. We have a sample that we've sent in recently, but we haven't got the results back yet. Uh, we will post those at the end of the video. Just wanted to show how uh, how decent this vein looks. There's quite a bit of quartz in there. There you go, you can see that there's the galena throughout this, some sphalerite, 
taco pyrite. You got some pyrotite in there as well. So this one's going to be a little bit more difficult to work because we know this dips down below the road so we're going to have to see if we can get permission to disturb the road if we were going to pull it anything major out of here. Alright so we just took a sample above the vein and uh, This is what it looks like. So you can see it's all disseminated through. It's not a solid vein. But it uh, does look decent enough to uh, send in for an analysis. Okay, so we got a couple other veins here we're taking a look at. There's uh, one, two, right here. And then there's a third one in here. Not as much mineralization as the last ones, but uh, these are still worthwhile to sample and see if there's anything good. We've never sampled these before, so uh, hopefully something good comes out of this. Alright, so that's all the prospecting and sampling we're doing tonight. Hopefully these uh, samples turn out to be uh, decent. So we have this uh, pretty much entire mountain uh, staked, so we're doing a couple sampling programs and uh, lots of exploration. There's a bunch of old mines on here, so we have uh, lots of video content coming your way for this area. And uh, we'll check out all the old mines and everything in some other uh, follow-up videos. And Hope everyone has a good night. Thanks for watching.